We've measured out um, two grams of our mystery alum and placed it in a small crucible with a little lid that doesn't fit tightly at all. We've set up a ring stand that has a clay triangle that we're going to place our crucible in. We're going to tilt it a little bit, just a touch to the side, and place the lid loosely on it. And this is where we're, where we're going to heat up our mystery alum and drive off as much water as we can to see what the weight of the dehydrated sample is. Now I'm going to need to use a um, Bunsen burner with a flame. So I have my Bunsen burner right here connected to a gas line. And so I'm going to turn on the gas and I'm going to use a striker like this to try to ignite my Bunsen burner. Okay, I've adjusted my flame and now I have a, a good size um, inner blue cone and then the flame extends above that, which you may or may not be able to see on the film. I'm now going to set this up so it will um, heat the very bottom of my crucible. What I'm going to want, so here's my flame, I want my crucible to be right about here, right in the hottest part of the flame. We can test this out. It looks like it's going to be about perfect. So when we initially start heating this, it's going to um, start frothing on the inside and we won't be able to get a good image of it. But if we expect any of this frothing, we can have our, um, our solid actually froth out of this crucible, which we don't want to do. So we want to heat very gently at first. And to do that, we are going to just run it under it like this in the beginning. So that way it doesn't have direct heat for too long underneath our, um, at the bottom of the crucible. I've been waving this flame under the crucible for about one minute and I'm starting to hear a little fizzing sound coming from the crucible, which means it's probably starting to be hot enough to bubble. I will use these crucible tongs to check and make sure Oh yeah, it's still bubbling. I'm gonna let I'm gonna keep heating gently for a little bit longer. And I have heated this gently for about two minutes, and now I'm going to set up my flame to heat directly. And I have my the blue part of the inner cone, the tip of it. Um, I'm trying to rest that um, right underneath the crucible. So it almost uh, kind of comes up around just the bottom of it. Um, this is the hottest part of the flame. I will move the camera to try to get a better view for you. So here's my setup again. And you can see that that inner cone of blue inside my flame is just touching the bottom of the crucible, almost creating a, a little blue shelf of fire and this is heating up the crucible. And you can see it's starting to get um, red hot. And that's what we're, go we're hoping for. We're going to heat this so our ceramic um, crucible is red hot. It has been five minutes um, since we've heated um, to the point where the crucible is red hot. Um, and so now I'm going to turn off the gas and let this cool for about 10 minutes before we weigh it. We want to make sure it's at room temperature when we weigh it as the heat from a hot crucible would affect the air currents around the scale and give us a, a less accurate reading. 